Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to go ahead and give this quick girl, um, recap um, of the Bell Collective reunion. Uh, this was part one. Um, I mean, the reunion was cute. I mean, I guess, you know, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was cute. The fashions. Nobody looked horrible. I will say my least favorite was so Gucci. Um, it gave me very much, it gave me Jackson, Mississippi, no tea, no shade. It gave me Huntsville, Alabama. Like when I think of the girls who, when they get fashion in Jackson, that's what I think the girls dress like. No tea, no shade. Cause I'm from the country, I'm from the country, 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 country. Um, I'm talking about like, when I left my when I left the place that I grew up was born and raised, it was like fifteen hundred people population. That country, dirt roads, one one stop light, yeah. Um, but it looks like something that the people in the country will wear. Like that's something that the girls would probably wear back in the day. Like you know what? So Gucci's dress reminded me of something <coughs> that the girls would have worn back in the day. But now since we're in this new era of red bottoms, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all that, I would have thought that So Gucci would have probably went another route. But girl, quiet as this kept, girl, I'm gonna leave it alone. I didn't like So Gucci's dress, that's the bottom line. Um, I thought that my favorite was probably Marie. I thought Marie looked amazing. Um, I thought La, uh, Latrice, I like Latrice dresses when she was sitting down. I don't remember her standing up. Um, Akeisha didn't look bad. I loved, like, I loved Akeisha's ponytail. Um, Tamara didn't look bad. It almost looked like, <laughs> girl, it almost looked like Latisha just threw on a dress and said, girl, and threw some tracks in her hair. Like, she was, like, literally, it's like they gave her some baby curls. Some baby curls, do some tracks, pressed it out, and she went on out there. Um, Marie. I was looking at Marie. I said, Marie look different. <laughs> I said, Marie Monroe look real different. And I remember I tweeted, girl, did Marie get a new nose? Because she's looking real pinched. Okay, and as soon as they showed Marie at the reunion in the bottom screen, and I they they were doing a like a you know a, her montage or whatever, um, and it was her old face and her new face, and then when Latrice mentioned it, so basically, girl, Marie got a new nose. I don't know if I like. I mean, it's not my nose. It's not my face. Marie looks good. I was like, oh, Marie look good. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's noticeable. That's what it is. That's what me and my biological sister were saying. The nose is noticeable. I don't know if it's horrible. It's noticeable. It's not like one of those. It ain't like when Beyonce got her nose job. <laughs> I know some of y'all be heated when I bring up Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. It ain't like Beyonce and her nose job, allegedly. It ain't like Kelly Rowland and her nose job. And we know we know that's we know Kelly got a nose job. It's not, it's not like that where it's like, oh, maybe she did get one. Oh. It's like Latrice, like, like like Marie Monroe, you could tell that's like it, like she got a nose job. I mean, I guess that's the purpose, right? To tell that something is different about the person. I would want my plastic surgery if I would never get a nose job. But if I got a nose job, I would want my, I would not want my face to look, I would like, I don't know, it's weird. I know that may sound crazy. Like I would still want to look like myself, just like a better version of myself. Like Marie looks like herself, but almost like a different person, kind of. I don't know. But I mean, she don't look bad. Marie, like I said, Marie, Marie looked the best. I mean, tonight, you know, Marie was together. Hair was together, dress was together, makeup was together. Um, 
Um, Glenn and Letitia have separate dressing rooms. I don't know why. Like I also said on Twitter, I'm not going to play this game with Letitia and Glenn. I'm not. Um, I think Glendale is trash. But I also think Letitia is a damn fool. Ain't nobody going to convince me that, that this was Glenn's first time cheating on Letitia or being physical with someone outside of his marriage. This is not, Glenn been in them streets. Letitia ain't set that on that TV screen. At least she said it on mine. I don't know about y'all's, okay? Letitia ain't sat on my TV screen and said, fool me twice, shame on me. No, fool me once, shame on, shame on me. Fool me seven times, 17 times. You won't fool me again. Glenn bent in them streets, okay? I don't know why we doing all this, all the, why we doing all this pomp and circumstance for, to drum up this girl, the DNA results for this baby when it don't matter. Tisha has already told us that the baby don't matter. Girl, so even if the baby is Glenn's, it don't matter. I mean, I guess, I guess at that point, the only thing that's going to be determined whether or not he's going to have to take, you know, I guess legally has to take care of the baby. But other than that, it's not going to determine whether or not Tisha going somewhere. Tisha not going nowhere. And so I'm like, like, why are we even playing this game? Like, why, why is Tisha on my TV screen acting like she's so... Because, girl, if it's his baby, it's not. What is, what, is it going to matter? <laughs> like. I thought it was, I'm, I, 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 you know, I try to find, I try to find a humor in a lot of stuff. And I can joke about this, but I thought it was absolutely disgusting that everybody sat on that stage and laughed. It was low-key funny. If I wanted to be mean and spiteful and evil, I could say it was actually funny and they looked like clowns. Everybody was on that stage laughing and giggling at the fact that Tisha, your husband, could not even, girl, have enough decency. Girl, what do we expect, though? Girl, he up there talk acting like a 13-year-old boy first time seeing boobies. I ain't never seen H, H size before. And you a grown ass forty some year old man? Why you act like I ain't never seen titties before? And they just her, they just end up her laughing at your philandering ass husband. Tisha, it's not a good look, sweetie. It's not. It's not. It's not a good look that everybody on the cast sat up there and laughed at your husband girl and the stories that you were telling about your husband uh, entertaining women in his dms now let me say something you can't control what people send to you okay that's even like at a job right you can't control what emails you receive but you can damn sure control if you send them out okay you can control if you see if if, if, if you send them to your friends in the, in the cubicle next door you can control if you respond and quiet as it's kept i'm just gonna be honest it ain't a lot of shit going on in DMs. Girl, I barely be in mine as quiet as it's kept. And that's just God on the truth. Might be some key keying going on with me and my cousins. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, girl, I, I mean, you want to slide in my DM, you can. <laughs> you can. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell nobody, okay? Um, you know, one thing about it, two things for sure, three things for sure, baby. I don't run my mouth, okay? Um, it ain't a bitch on it ain't a bitch on YouTube who could ever find a video of me saying a name or anybody who I've been smashing. Never, okay, girl. That's one thing about me, baby. I'm a grown ass man. I don't kiss and tell, okay? Now I might kiss tell. <laughs> okay, but I don't kiss and tell, okay? Catch that. Um 
Anyways, I just thought it was ridiculous that the girl, like, girl, we sit up here really having, we really sit up here joking and laughing about this man who's been in this relationship with this woman for almost 20 years, about how he can't control himself at his big ass age from seeing titties in his DMs. It's just, it's sad. It's disgusting. It's whack. Tisha, you look foolish. Um, you ought to feel foolish. Ain't no way I'm going to sit my ass on TV and let some man continue, continue to embarrass me time and time and time. I don't give a fuck how long you've been married. I don't give a damn how many kids you got or don't got. I don't give a damn. One thing about it, two things for sure. Knock on wood, I ain't never been stupid over no nigga. I, now, that's, one, that's, that's the one up I do got up on a lot of motherfuckers, okay? That's the one up I got up on a lot of people. Now, I done probably did some dumb shit that I regret. Yeah, okay. But just be straight out stupid. Thank God that ain't never, that ain't never been my story. Did Tamara get a BBL? I don't know where this came from, but Tamara ain't got no BBL. I think Tamara has a very nice shape. Why are we talking about Tamara having a BBL? I don't even, even remember that being a part of a, the discussion throughout the season. But whatever. Um, Akisha says that the ratings increased because of her. Um, did Tamara say Akisha wasn't a good fit? See, this is the thing with Tamara. Tamara says stuff, but when they go back and report what Tamara, what, what Tamara says, it's not exactly what Tamara said. But Tamara, but it's like you, it's like they're reading between the lines. So, for example, Tamara did probably say. Akeisha is not a good fit for the show. Akeisha don't even live in Jackson. She ain't even got no house. As mean as it may sound, if we really are coming together to put a show together about the women of Jackson, Mississippi, Akeisha is not a good fit, okay? Now, we could say that any other, any other franchise of girls don't live, like the, girl, do the girls really live in Atlanta or do they live in Duluth? Right? Do the girls really live in Beverly Hills or do they live in the girl, girl West Hollywood? I don't know, you know? Do they live, girl, downtown? Do they live in Compton, Inglewood? I don't know, girl. Do the lit girl, do the girls really live in New York? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, you know? So it's like, girl, the girls don't be really living in these cities, you know? But, <clears throat> girl, at least they live close enough to get, to get to wherever they need to be. Girl, Akeisha lives in New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? So in Tamara's defense, I don't think it had anything to do with liking or disliking Akeisha. One, from what it sounds like, girl, we didn't even talk. We knew each other in high school. See, this is the thing, right? We have to be honest. <laughs> Akeisha, pro Akeisha and Tamara probably talk on Facebook, probably talk on Instagram. They are not friends. I, that's what I've come to. So, because of that, Tamara wouldn't really have any reason to go up for Akeisha. So, she's probably looking at it like, okay, girl, she don't live here. She don't got this. She's like, no, she's not a good fit. So, the way they delivered is like, oh, girl, she didn't even want her on the show. Girl, she don't even like her. You know what I'm saying? So, it becomes this whole other thing. And it's like, it's not that I don't want her on the show. It's just that, girl, I don't feel, feel like she's like a good fit. For the show, because if we're supposed to be doing a show about the women of Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi, she live in New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but does Tamra lie? I don't know if Tamra lies, but Tamra is messy. Um, Tamra did not lie about Akeisha saying the girls was ugly. Akeisha said it. That's what I just came to. I don't know if I said it before, but that's I've come to the conclusion that Akeisha did say it. I think Akeisha did say when she saw the 15 second credit or whatever commercial from last season, I think Akeisha probably was like, oh, y'all ain't got no cute girls in Jackson, Mississippi. Is that, did she say them bitches is ugly? No. But if you saying something like, girl, here we go. Here we go with the read between the lines, right? If you say something like, um, Ain't no cute girls in Jackson. You low key saying the girls that they chose ain't cute. Therefore, you calling them ugly. You see what I'm saying? 
Um, the dirty plate, girl. It's, it's so it sounds like basically Akeisha went to Letitia to tell her about the dirty plate because Letitia gave Akeisha a response that Akeisha felt was, I guess, unnecessary. Basically, Akeisha met Letitia's energy, and so that's how it kind of went left. I kind of believe Akeisha, oh, that's how it went. I do believe that Akeisha told the producer. The producer told her, hey, girl, we're not here. You know, the producer's not supposed to be there. Um, girl, I'm not here, so girl, I don't know what you're going to do. So she go up and tell Ake Letitia. I think Letitia said exactly what Akeisha said. Like, girl, what you telling me for, girl? This ain't my event, which is weird because, girl, oh, I didn't, throw, I didn't put this together. Girl, what? Okay, I don't know what Letitia doing up there in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, I'm almost about to say that Letitia England pulling stunts and shows, but and I also felt like that 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 that's what made Akeisha then because of Letitia's response that made Akeisha go left too. That's what I think happened. Um, Letitia was saying some funny stuff. I was your genie. I granted your wish. Shut the hell up. We told her to shut the hell up. Um, they talked about the whole word. Letitia, when Letitia called them hoes. I mean, girl, you know how we be talking. We be like, girl, fuck these hoes. And you know, like, you're not really calling nobody a hoe in general. It's just like, it's just like what you saying. Like, girl, girl, shut up. But you're not really like, like, girl, I'm not calling you a girl. I know you're a man. But it's like, girl, girl, shut up. You know? Like, um, you got a new nose. Let's get it. You got, is that a new nose, Marie? Y'all know that's a new nose. Um, that was pretty much it, girl. Girl, the cheating. Akeisha basically said it. I mean, girl, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to put my trust in my husband. And that's really how it should be. I'm going to put my trust in my husband to know that he knows how he should behave. And if he doesn't, then girl, he knows what's on the line. Me, your kids, your family. And you know you're going to have to have some respect for me, your kids, and your family. I mean, girl, I, girl I'm not going to be sitting here worried about no nigga. Because I'm saying, like, girl, and I know some of y'all be going through it, checking DMs and checking cell phones. That's what, girl, I ain't got time for all that, child. If you cheating, you cheating. But bitch, if I find out the relationship is over, you can't do shit about nothing until you don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not just making a full-time job because I don't trust you. Because if I don't trust you, I don't even need to be with you quiet as this girl. Because God, I'm saying, Letitia, your man ain't going to change. <laughs> everybody knows it. Um, everybody knows you're not going nowhere. It is what it is. Letitia, God, wish you the best <laughs> in your journey with your husband. Um... Clearly, he has unprotected sex with strangers, and I'm sure that he's having unprotected sex with his wife. So the only thing I can do is say, like, they tell the gays to get tested every three to six months just to make sure that you're good, um, and that he don't bring you nothing home that you can't get rid of, right? Um, I don't really have nothing else for Glenn and Tisha. I really thought I was gonna like really like <laughs> drag them both, but it's like kind of like why? Cause girl, again, like I said, girl, Letitia not going nowhere. Glenn not gonna stop cheating. So, <laughs> girl, girl, it is what it is. Girl, be happy. Girl, be happy. Girl, we, you grown. I'm grown. You gonna do what you want to do. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Everybody gonna do what they want to do. Letitia ain't gonna leave that man until she get, until she good and damn good <laughs> until she ready. And I'm like she leaving him no time soon. All right, y'all. Bye. Oh, and what happened with Tamra and that man? Oh, they haven't talked about Tamra and the man. Yeah, that's it. Bye, y'all.